Hello everybody. So in this video I will talk about flow batteries. More exactly I will talk about semi-flow batteries. Uh, the difference between semi-flow battery and some ordinary flow battery is in some construction design of the system. Uh, so some ordinary flow battery uses two external electrolyte tanks with two pumps for the electrolyte flow. So in one tank you have the electrolyte which is used for the positive side of the cell and in the second external electrolyte tank you have the electrolyte which is used for the negative side of the cell. And the each external electrolyte tank is connected with the pump for the electrolyte flow. And this is the basic construction design of some ordinary flow battery. Some semi-flow battery uses only one external electrolyte tank with only one pump for the electrolyte flow. Some semi-flow batteries I have here. So actually I have here three uh, semi-flow battery cells. And each of these three is quite unique. I mean, the, the basic construction is in some semi-flow cell design, but each of these three cells have some another feature with some improvements. Uh, so the basic chemistry, which I use in all these three cells, is some zinc bromide uh, chemistry. So for the start, in all these three cells, I use the electrolyte which is made from one mole of zinc bromide. So this was my first semi-flow cell and the connection with the external electrolyte tank I have on the negative side of the cell. This side is the negative side of the cell. This one is the positive side of the cell. And this one, this cell also use some bromide pocket. Uh, when this cell was charged, some concentrated bromide was formed and all the concentrated bromide was captured in this bromide pocket, which was on the positive side of the cell. And on this one I get the energy of 359 milliwatt hours. And the second semi-flow cell design was this one. So this one is almost the same like my first one, uh, this one is also a little bit damaged, you see the end plate is cracked. This one have the energy of 247 milliwatt hours. So this cell was designed to operate with the external electrolyte tank or without the external electrolyte tank. And yeah, this was really really nice. And the last semi-flow cell is this one. So this one have the different cell design. Also the inside of this cell is different like from these two cells. Uh, and in the size this one is the smallest one. Uh, because this cell uses the surface, the active surface area of this. So 3 centimeters by 2 and half centimeters. So this is the actually active surface area of this cell. And the energy which I get on this one is far better like by these two cells. Uh, the energy which I get is 484 milliwatt hours. And the runtime of this cell I have over here. So, actually you see a really really nice stable discharge curve, so really really nice cell. So this cell uh, can also operate uh, with or without the external electrolyte tank. Um, if I connect the external electrolyte tank, uh, then in this case I get even more capacity. But for all these three prototypes, I use the electrolyte which was one mole of zinc bromide. So if I use a more concentrated electrolyte, then in this case I will get also even better energy out from this cell. But 
for the first testing I use one mole of zinc bromide and I get almost 500 milliwatt hours out from this cell so yeah this cell was so good for me uh, I mean I was so impressed by this cell design that I get uh, how to say some ambitious plan for the future to using this uh, cell design technology in some motorbike in some motorbike I will use 20 of this kind of cells um, all these 20 cells will be connected to some uh, external electrolyte tank which can hold I don't know three or five or even six liters of electrolyte and this will be my power source for uh, the motorbike yeah this is my ambitious plan of using this uh, semi-flow uh, cell designs uh, in some motorbike application okay this is some update on my semi-flow battery cell design and here I have some how to say some upgraded version of some of my old semi-flow batteries um, so in basic this this flow battery can be called gel flow battery because on the positive side of this cell I have some gel cathode and on the negative side of this cell is some flow type of battery so on the negative side of this cell I have some electrolyte flow and on the positive side I have some gelat version of cathode and in basic this one can be called gel flow battery so this one is also really 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 nice uh, and works also really really great uh, but actually my plan is to put all these improvements which I get from all these flow batteries into one cell so guys that's it for now and we see us in the next video bye <music>